What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, and today we are continuing our Experimental Research Division's militarized applications. We are back at the replica Cape Kerbnavril that we built with all the cardboard cutouts for our nuclear test, uh, but this time we are trying sort of a cluster bomb type application. Let's see if I can show you. have a whole whack of small explosive devices. One thing I've been grappling with this entire time, this flight has been going on for almost four minutes and I've been in control for about 30 seconds of it. You can tell I'm holding back like the entire time. <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of a necessity. We've got so much weight in this thing that even with these four big engines, it does not want to fly. So let's pop a quick save. That quick save is basically useless, as we learned in the last video. When you come out of the auto load, uh, there's, there's nothing there. You've got no speed, you've got no thrust, you've got no nothing. You're basically dead in the water. So that, that quick save is, is moot for the most part. You know what's really interesting? When I open those doors, all of a sudden I got a ton of lift. So if, if we do have to fly this thing again, that's the trick. Okay, so we're going really fast. Those things are going to have a, a lot of forward momentum, so let's, let's dump them early. Down to one frame a second. So most of them hit the back. A ton of them did go out, though. That is awesome. I'm thinking we're going to ride along with one or two of the bombs. We need some, we need some awesome, like, classical music. I have to sing it because otherwise it'll get copyright infringed. Um, okay, so we came up a little short. We definitely came up a little short, but let's let's observe this mayhem as it hits the ground. Pretty awesome little level of destruction there. I mean, that was that was like a lot of little booms. That was a lot of little booms. This guy's still hauling away. Let's see, does he have control now? Yeah, quite a bit more actually. Quite a bit more. Okay, let's do an auto load. All right, engines out. Gonna quickly pop these open, just for the lift factor. And right away, it's helping. The speeds ticking down as our engines are spooling up, but we're not we're not nosing down. So that's that's great. Awesome. Okay, thank you, game. Thanks, game. Oh, you're such a nice game. Okay, so we pulled early. We were about over there, so we'll pull a little later. I'm not sure what I can do to minimize. I tried to leave some space at the back so they'd fall, you know, naturally down, but I don't get it. There's no aerodynamics under there that should be pulling them to the back, right? That should be sort of a negative space. Not a vacuum, but like, you know what I mean. All right, let's pull here. Bombs away. Maybe if I pulled down right at the second release, maybe that would help. All right. These actually look like these might be promising shots. I think given the the two practice runs, the bombardier should have no problem hitting his mark on the next run. Oh, that one was really close. That might have been a decoupler. All right, so we did come up a little short again. See some of it in the background there, all all just a little bit short. So let's auto load again one more time. All right, gonna quickly open these because that it seems to be the back one actually. When I pop that back one open, boom, the the back end drops a little bit and keeps our plane in the air. That's amazing. That's just so weird. I guess they are like little lift surfaces. They are kind of like little wings, you know, providing some lift. I guess I don't know. It's so weird. 
All right, so we know generally where to pull. We pulled around here, but we're gonna have to pull just a little later, a little closer to the KSP. Cape Curbnaveral. The bombardier has his, her? Let's pretend it's her. Hilt, Hiltina, Hiltina? Hiltina is staring through the little looking glass. Bombs away. That might have been just a hair past the last one. We might have to do one more, because I really want to see these hit their hit their mark. Oh, I think this is good. Oh, I think this is good. Let's try and get to one at the top. There we go. We're riding. We're riding at the top of the crest. Actually, we're kind of right in the middle of it, but this is a cool view. I like this. All right, so cluster bomb test number three, hitting KSP. Oh, some good, some good marks there. Pow, 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 pow. Did come up just a little short again. Just a little bit short again. Let's try it one, one last time. We're gonna give it four of four. Open, get that lift back. All right, so this time we're gonna dump fairly close to it, and I'm also gonna try dropping the nose. Just as I press spacebar, there's a bit of lag. I'm gonna start holding W to try and drop the nose, and that should maybe lift the tail out of the way just a little bit. I don't know, it's worth a try. The bombs will still go on their you know natural trajectory, but it might get more of the bombs delivered, so to speak. All right, Hiltina is giving us the countdown. Coming up on the release point. Bombs away. Holding down, holding down, holding down. I think maybe a couple more actually did get released there. I think that actually kind of worked. All right, let's go ride it out with the bombs. Oh, cool. A big pot of them stuck together. Neato. Let's ride with these guys. Oh, this looks very promising. You can see them sort of leveling out and coming right down. Oh, here we go. We're riding right at the top of the crest because these decouplers have very little weight. They go much slower, so we get to watch from a nice aerial perspective. Some explosions happening. Oh, that was so close. Oh, direct hit. Oh, holy shit. Oh, those were good hits. If they were heavier, they certainly would have brought down that building. But because they were so small, you know, they did minor damage. They're more of like a personnel killing kind of bomb rather than a, a building destruction kind of bomb. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, can we get back to the plane? Awesome. Let's, uh, I guess we'll try and land it. Because that's, that's kind of how I roll here, isn't it? It would not be a successful mission unless we brought Hiltina, Razzy, little Nellen back. I'm definitely not going to do this gently. And I'm going to leave these things open. Because I think they're honestly the only things really keeping me in the air right now. Um, our biggest problem is the fact that we have to be doing like 400 miles an hour. <clears throat> we have to be, <clears throat> excuse me, we have to be doing like 400 miles an hour just to keep this thing in the air. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> I don't have any parachutes. I've got no air brake. You know, I didn't really account for the fact that this thing was going to be this cumbersome. You know, I knew it was going to be hard to fly, but I figured it would fly. This thing's like an elephant. You know, it, it wants nothing to do with the sky. It wants to be in the ground in a giant fireball. Yeah, we're going like 500-ish. Like 500-ish miles an hour. And I have very little in the way of actual control. Come on, come on, get around, get around. Coming about, coming about. Banking really hard. You would never want to do this in a plane this big. Alright, 
So we're still accelerating. I want to try and match my sort of downward descent with the shedding of speed. I want to touch the end of the runway doing about probably about 150 or so would be the dream. But no, it looks like we're going to hit the runway doing like 200 miles an hour. God damn it. All right, we got the brakes on. Shit. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Forgot the front brake was still on. So that would have made it probably catapulted nose down. Oh, look at that. 140, 130, 120. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Okay, that should have just exploded us. But we'll just pretend like we just aced that. Putting the wheels down right at the beginning of the runway. Can we shed the speed before we get to the end? Can we shed the speed before we get to the end? If I do this, I do this, I do this. Noel, you have to be way quicker than this. We're running out of runway. Noel, Noel, Noel. Okay, okay, come on, 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 Ha-ha! I, I had confidence. I knew it was going to work. I knew it was going to work. I don't know what you guys are so worried about. I knew it was going to work. All right, guys. I hope you like the video. I hope you comment. I hope you share. Uh, if you want to download this, it's, of course, going to be in the Dropbox link in the description. Um, I hope this encourages you to try your own cluster bomb or cluster fuck device. Uh, guys, until next time, peace, love, good luck bombing. <laughs>